Alright, so hello YouTube people. Um, yeah, the step one of Team GL Spring 2020 uh, just happened yesterday and we got two new maps to discover. Um, the first of them is gonna be Bowl by Roquette, looking like this. And then we also have Knife Edge by Kiesla, which apparently has a really tough offer time. But uh, yeah, we're obviously gonna start with map 10, Bowl by Roquette. I would say we hop straight in. I haven't seen anything of the map, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Usually Roquette is one of my favorite. He is actually my favorite Team GL mapper, I think. So I hope it's gonna be a good map. We're gonna see. Zack, there you go. So, what do we do? Fantastic. And Ice Point. Let's hope it's a good one. I can confirm this is a good one, at least in terms of the gear. Alright, okay, cool, cool, cool. Finally, some normal ice points. Third outside, aha, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, what is this? I hit the hole, scheiße. Alright, zack. Oh, that's very tight. Okay. But just as all of the other maps, it seems to be like a pretty mixed map. No certain style here. Okay, that's very interesting. It's a bit like... I don't know, it has a lot of elevation changes and stuff. It's not like an RPG map, but... Ah, I don't know. It feels interesting. And so good. Uh, so far, so good, I would say. That is scary. Okay, we go here. So far, it also seems quite easy, to be honest. Don't think there was any hard part so far. So we might have some uh, a really close map here. Hey, what is this? Cruise control? Wait, cruise control? No, wait, what? Hey. Wait, what? Is that the identity? Wait, how's the map called again? Bowl. Yeah, that is the identity, I think. Wait, do you have to like slow down a lot and then just go here and then... Oh my god, is that the identity? Ach du Scheiße. Okay. Uh, can we do something different here, which is like faster? I mean, clipping like this and make it... Wait, it's so long. Wait, it's so long. Wait, what? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So is the identity all about releasing an appropriate amount and that's it? Like going full release break here? And then you just drive like this or what? I mean, now I'm probably a little bit too slow, but... I mean, it's an interesting idea. I don't know how this will feel like. Like, but you probably have like a certain amount of speed that you want to reach, which is like perfect, and that's it. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Definitely an interesting idea. I would say seems like a good map overall. Well. Oh, unlucky Marcus. I'm so sorry. But this is a really good ice point in terms of the gear. That's a cool ice slide. I will probably have to do it with wheel. I might lose a bit there, but it should be fine. Yeah, it's a really good point. Really good. <sighs> so I would say let's try to get a clean run maybe. Probably not with a good ending yet, but uh, just a clean run. I guess at the ice slide you just want to go like really tight. That's usually how you drive ice slides. Just tight and yeah. That's pretty much it. Alright, so we had this, we had this. This is going to be an important part as well, I think. going to be hard to get a good slide there. Then you go here, aha, uh -huh. okay, this is one big turn. Then this was also, this seems to be very inside, I don't know. And now I forgot. I had shoot. Oh, this seems very scary for getting a no slide. I don't know if I'm too big of a fan of that. But this is a very easy map. Like, until here, everybody is gonna be within a tenth, and then it's all about to get the identity the best. This is a little bit too fast, I think. Dude, that's so hard to judge, actually.
Boah. This is a bit like Crestline then? Yeah, yeah, sort of. Sort of. I mean, what is the good speed that you want to have here? It's a bit ass that you, like, you cannot do anything. Like, you cannot break and cruise control locks through speed. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be all about identity then. Hi, yeah, yeah. Watch WR, it's different. I mean, what I maybe thought about is uh, going, like, in the wall, right? Maybe that's actually faster, so they can keep a little bit more speed. I'm gonna watch the WR. Currently helped by Roquette himself, so. But maybe like this, because he can go a little bit faster then. This is really weird, though. That was probably not even too bad. Okay, you know what? Let's actually watch it. Let's see. Let's see how Roquette is driving his own map. Seems to be a solid time, so I hope... Uh, I hope uh, he shows a good line there. Yeah, this will this will all this will all be about the identity. I mean, but isn't that always the case for Team GL? It's probably all about finding a, like a consistent timing, and also like just practicing uh, what speed you need. Then you probably just want to get as close as possible to the speed without going above it, basically. Great, right, actually, also, uh, what are those legs? Hello, bro. Yeah, I'm a bit scared of getting a no slide here, but it should be fine. I think you're just fast enough. So it should be good. Okay, so what is the line? Yeah, he's also going high. Look, 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 look. And he goes like very close to this edge and then to the top edge and then also to this edge. Okay. Wait, did somebody did somebody see his speed? Because I didn't pay attention. What speed did Rukat have? That would be interesting to know. Like 253, 54? Okay, okay. And then you just get that line and then that's it. Okay, this is gonna be, uh, I think so far, the map out of all the maps that have been released yet, uh, this will be the map with the closest races, I think. Because I don't think it will be really hard getting that identity sort of consistently. If you have enough practice, of course. I mean, of course you also have an ice part, but it's a very simple ice slide and... I don't think people will really uh, choke that one, so... I think you can expect some really sick races here. But I think the f when is the first time we're gonna see these maps? Step 3? I think step 3, because, no, step 4 actually, in step 4 we're going to see this map, so, still plenty of time left. Is this turn full speed here? Yeah. Spirit outside, oh god. I'm scared. Those of you that watched the Team GL step yesterday, map 1, <laughs> Me and Dirt outside, we're not the best friends. Wait, why am I 4 seconds behind? Did I respawn? I can't remember. <laughs> nice brain I have. Okay, so. Reminder, 255. Or 253. Ish. I fail there. So let's see if I can. Ah, ah fuck. I had the speed, but I'm just dumb. <laughs> I had 249. I mean, that's close. That's too fast. Oh, it's so hard to judge because I have to go fucking camp one, man. I hate that. Okay, this should be enough to survive for sure. Let's see what my time would have been without respawns. Ah! <gasps> close, close. 109.3, okay. Okay, let's do a few more attempts and then we're gonna go over to map number two. Because I don't want to spend too much time on these maps yet. I have to rather spend time on the new maps for step two.
walk. Getting this turn here right is actually tough. It might look like an easy slide, but since it's so slow, it's... I don't know, it's kind of hard to judge. T, you also want to go rather for inside, I think. Then here, keep the gear, but it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, it's a very simple map. It is very simple. This is gonna have some sick races. You can... I can assure you that. Look, I mean, I got a quite clean run now after a few attempts. Okay, 240, it's not that good. But at least I will survive. <laughs> ah! Why did I not survive with 240? What the fuck? At least I will survive. Oh, that's too fast. Fuck! Okay, it's not easy. I take it back. This is a tough map. This is brutal. And we have Lars with a raid. Yo, thank you, man. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome, everyone. I just uh, started discovering the new Team GL maps. And they are uh, interesting. At least the first one. <laughs> Why am I even trying to brake? Why am I even holding my brake button when I'm on fucking no brakes? Scheiße. Where analysis? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I might have recorded my face cam for two and a half hours, Lars. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's all a bit unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do one more attempt here and then we're gonna go on to the next map, I would say. And if I don't get a clean run now, then yeah, I just don't get a clean run now. But this ice slide definitely very far inside. Full inside and you are. That's it. Okay, no, that, that nah, uh, 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 that's not an, uh, uh, doesn't count. Nope, that doesn't count as well. Yeah, I thought about doing a two hour face cam analysis, but, uh, yeah. I decided against it. Okay, so, last try now, officially. <gasps> Here you have to go quite far left, actually. It's a bit weird, but fair enough. Well, it's actually really close with that gear change. You have to get that upper gear before you jump off. It's quite tight. I guess here in the dirt, you just want to go as tight as possible, but keep the gear. But as I said, like, this is not difficult. The map is quite easy. I don't know if it's the easiest one of the season so far, but... Maybe the other new map is gonna be uh, very brutal, therefore. Okay, 238. If I don't survive that now, then I don't know. Okay, we survived. A clean run at least. 109.8. Fast time. But anyway, that was it with the bowl discovery by Rocket. Interesting map, interesting uh, identity. Yeah, seems seems good, seems good. So uh, for the YouTube guys, thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow in the uh, next uh, discovery for Knife Edge. <laughs>